We might have won tonight, but it ain't over yet, ladies and gentlemen. We must stay focused. We should be on this one. Now, yes, the the big news here is that wait for the climax. This is not the climax, but yes, the big news here is that Sony ended up coming out and they did say psych. They pulled a side card and finally they are reverting the changes. For those of you that do not know, Helldivers was going to get the PlayStation Network link. Now it's not getting that. But a lot of people think that Sony pulled a side card because of the negative reviews. Yeah, sure. This had a part to play. I'm not denying that. Everybody went in gang gang. Yeah, it was absolutely beautiful to see. But you see something else broke the camel's back. You wanna know what's that? We're gonna get right into it. Like this video if you're with team gamers. Dislike the video if you're like, hey, leave the multi-billion dollar company alone. Shkishil. I wanna know where you guys at. And yeah, man, I, I need to acknowledge this. People are doing helicopters with their release right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is a massive W, but something else is coming up. Get ready for this one. Roll it. And I want everyone in the comments section right now to just give me a clap emoji. Give yourselves a clap emoji, I should say. If you're on PC, uh -huh. just type asterisk, clap asterisk, I don't know. This is a cause for celebration. If it wasn't 5.40 a.m. in the morning my time, I, I woke up to let my dog out, and uh, I, I saw the news, and I could not get back to sleep. If it wasn't <laughs> this early, I'd pop open a beer in celebration, because I, I, this is the first thing in, like, five years. I swear to God, yeah. this is the first thing. You watch him connect this with Call of Duty, yeah. In Wait five years. That's given me hope that not everyone out there nowadays, not every consumer out there nowadays, is a bumbling idiot. This is the best news I have seen in such a long time. Yep, and I hope true. it spreads to, to my field, the Call there of Duty are. field. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna happen in Call of Duty. I'm sorry. Uh, first of all, I'm sorry to be a Debbie Downer. Uh, I, I want to retract that, but I also, but deep down, I just cannot retract that. I'm hesitating right now. You see, the reason I'm hesitating is because of this. When you got eighty dollars monkey punches, and yeah, sure, a lot of you also talked about it. I talked about it. And some YouTubers talk covered it. But man, I've seen so many YouTubers and so many Call of Duty players say that, bro, like this eighty dollars monkey punch microtransactions that they brought in the game, it's just a bonus. <laughs> Activision is just giving you guys a bonus. So uh, yeah, like they didn't have to. They're just like letting you. You know what I mean? Like you spend eighty dollars and it's a bonus. It's a bonus. You spend eighty dollars on microtransactions and as a reward you get this. Yeah. If you if Call of Duty players' mentality is gonna be this, nothing is gonna be changed. We need to change this mentality. Like the video if you agree. But, wait but for that, it. that remains to be seen. We'll, we'll get into that in just a second. I, I want to talk uh -huh. about Helldivers 2 and Call of Duty this video. I, I think yeah. these are some comparisons that need to be made as a uh -huh. primarily Call of Duty channel here, just covering something out of the ordinary. But if you guys have not heard the news, the big news is that Sony walked back their stupid anti-consumer changes. There yep. were so many people, so many people upset about this. And the sad part is, I saw it in my own comment section, the sad part is, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how you could be a consumer that plays a video game and side with Sony on this one after yeah. just reading up. All there, there were some people that were siding with Sony and I've also seen some comments where people are saying that, well, I play on PlayStation, I don't play Helldivers, this does not affect me. Listen here, smarty pants, I also don't have Helldivers. I also have a PlayStation. It, yeah, it doesn't affect me, but the world doesn't surround about, about uh, around me, motherfuckers. It's not about me, bro. It's not about me. Yeah, sure, this does not affect me. Absolutely. It also doesn't affect a lot of people, but it affects a lot of other people, too. And, and the, 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 it's about the principle, right? Because if we let them get through this, this can happen to a game that you like, perhaps, right? It, it can come to Xbox, too. Like, I mean, crap. Like, we're talking about these billion dollars corporations. They don't care about y'all, man. They don't care about me. They don't care about none of us. So money talks, bull squash walks. And a lot of people are also like, yeah, the negative reviews help. I agree with you, but nah, bro, they don't nest. I don't think this broke the camel's back. Some people also believe that, hey, we're talking Sony, they care about the customers, they care about the gamers. Mm, to a certain degree, maybe, perhaps, but it doesn't feel like that they care about gamers at all. No corporations at the end of the day care about us, okay? Genuinely, I feel like that what broke the camel's back is, first of all, shout out to Steam, man. <laughs> I think, I think Steam is the reason why we m might have won tonight, okay? But it ain't over yet! Stellar Blade is still censored! We need to talk about Stellar Blade, okay? Stellar Blade is still censored. With Helldivers, the situation here is that 
we were seeing a lot of people uh, in fact steam was also issuing refunds right and, and see that's a problem for sony so steam really came in clutch yeah not everybody ended up getting refund from steam they have a criteria of course but uh, i was hearing that a lot of people were getting their refunds uh, from directly from steam and, and uh, uh Everybody also came together, overwhelmingly negative reviews. It just don't look good for Sony. A lot of gamers came together. It, it's like, I think this is gonna be in our gaming history books for years to come. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? Because I genuinely have never seen everyone coming together like this. With Call of Duty, dude, like, here, here's the thing though. Let me actually show you guys this. I wish I could say psych right now, guys. I really wish I could say psych right now. But, eh, 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 friendly, friendly, you remember this friendly UAV online, this $20 BBC bundle? Yeah, there was a little bit of outrage because, you know, $20 skins, but it was kind of like, haha, funny, right? Even I joke around it, you guys joke about it, and we gave it a name of friendly UAV online, so people joke about it. And it's funny, and genuinely, it is funny, but still, the problem is it's $20, and they're prioritizing microtransactions rather than the actual in-game content for the players. They don't care about you, people know that, but still, there is no outrage. Guess what? They bring in the $80 monkey punch, that King Kong punch, and people are like, well, it's, it's just a reward, man, how cute, it's a punch, it's a monkey punch, I love King Kong, I am gonna buy it, right? So many people also ended up buying it, but but I do agree that you guys also were against it. I read those comments, but see, the problem is I have been reading a lot of people say that, well, it's optional, bro. You don't have, don't like it, don't buy it, don't like it, don't buy it. Stop complaining, stop complaining. Guys, it ain't even about that, bro. When the Call of Duty community's mentality is gonna be like this, it's Joe over. Guess what? Right after this one, they bring a hundred dollar microtransaction. And you want to know what people said? It, it's a reward. It is a it is a reward. You know, you would buy all the microtransactions in the game. You would spend a hundred dollars, and Activision is so nice that they would give you that hundred. It's not the skin is not hundred dollars, right? That, that's what people are saying. That's hold up. That's what people are saying. Activision is so nice that they will give you a reward. You don't deserve it, but see, they're so nice that they would give you, yeah, you that skin for spending hundred dollars in other words they have given you that skin that don't even matter in real life couple of digital uh pixels for you being dumb it's an iq test you spend eighty dollars and then they're like yeah we'll give you yeah man so if call of duty community's mentality is gonna be like this it's over Nothing's on what's going on change. for two minutes you know people getting locked out of the game uh, entire countries not being able to play helldivers 2 i think as of making this video you still can't even buy the game in certain areas due to this plan change i mean there were fanboys out there defending sony for this yeah. like you guys are just fucking idiots <laughs> there's no <laughs> nice way to put it and you got got it was just a boneheaded move from sony it was meant for profit and nothing else. They wanted to yeah. flex on their shareholders. That was it. All in the name of the almighty dollar. And I, I think their their investor call is happening on May 14 and May 16 is a Rockstar Take 2. I will try and stream both, but Take 2 Rockstar I'll definitely stream. And real quick, before we get down to the, the climax here, guys, I want to say I have second channels. Uh, Scary X, this is where we upload UFO content. I got a Skizzle 2 channel as well. All the channels, all my other channels, including Instagram, Twitter, everything, will be linked down in description alongside the pinned comment. It should be in the pinned comment with Linktree. Check it out. I would definitely love to have you on the second channels as well. Uh, all right, let's get back down to the content now, boo, boo I'm so happy. I am so proud of the Helldivers 2 and PC community. Every console person that plays it as well that was on the PC community side on this. Like, seriously, I I'm so proud of you guys. Not only am I proud of you guys, I am proud of the community manager and the devs at Helldivers 2 here. I just want to cover this by Spitz. In the last video, I actually called him an idiot. I, I want to apologize. You're not an idiot, Spitz. You are a very intelligent man and, um... I, I want to just show you guys this and, and read this from Spitz. This is after, you know, he said some questionable things. He said, nobody should feel bad for me, to be honest. I let the negativity get under my skin and gave a few people an attitude. That's on me. I completely understand why people are upset at the required account linking. I'm not thrilled about it either. And my suggestion to people to change their reviews to negative was completely genuine. He did say that, as you can see right here. Uh, he wanted people to review bomb the game to get a point across. Yeah. There are good and bad ways to express this content <laughs> and coming after the dead. <laughs> okay, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I just did a sound effect of bruh, but the guy also did say bruh, really? What's up? Everybody now this says bruh, 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 bruh. bruh. I mean, bruh. bruh. 
There are good and bad ways to express Everyone, this content, and coming after the devs and moderators in here isn't the solution and won't get this decision changed. I do agree there. People are emotional, and rightfully so. Many of them won't be able to play the game anymore. It sucks. I'm not trying to attack anyone for being displeased with the change. I'm just trying to protect my team from the backlash, so I jumped on the grenade. Unfortunately, uh, the community managers for Helldivers 2, they did the exact opposite of what you should do during a crisis, and they tucked their tail and ran. They deleted their Twitters. They went private, what have you. That's not what you want to do, and I get that the internet is the Wild West. Yeah. There's negativity. He jumped on a grenade. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, listen. <laughs> the everywhere, there's, there's planned attacks and whatnot. Uh, Call of Duty fanboys just recently did that to me. It's just part of the game, unfortunately. Most of them are just faceless accounts. You'll never know. Most of them are, are true, you know, true. hiding behind anime profile pictures and uh, retweeting true. weird furry porn and stuff. True. Just don't worry about it. Who cares, man? It sucks, but you gotta stand strong. You gotta weather the storm. And I do wish the community managers, all of them for Helldivers 2, I, I hope they're okay about this. Some people just cannot handle the backlash, and it's, it is it is what it is, you know? But with that said, uh, I'm happy that uh -oh. we're here with Helldivers 2. I, I'm, I'm so yeah. proud of everyone involved. When I came back to YouTube back in 2019, I'm gonna show you this screenshot. This is what uh -oh. caused me to there come back go. to YouTube there we go. after a several year hiatus. I'm talking like seven years of just not really doing full-time YouTube. I came back in 2019 because Modern Warfare 2019 was so bad and I saw how bad it was. I did not want things to get worse. I'm like, I, I have to call this out. It's, it's not Modern Warfare, the worst Call of Duty I've ever played. Next year, it was what? Black Ops Cold War? It's the worst Call of Duty I've ever played. Next year, it was like Vanguard, right? The worst Call of Duty ever played. <laughs> it just doesn't stop, man. It just doesn't stop. He can't keep getting away with this, man. He can't. But but now, honestly, though, uh, right now, I, I know when Modern Warfare first came out, it was considered uh bad by a lot of the hardcore fans the casuals loved it but looking back honestly it wasn't that bad the the worst part about modern warfare was the uh, maps designed for campers right skill based matchmaking and galore these were the two main things yeah sure there were like smaller things here and there for sure but the main thing was like camping they were promoting camping style heavily was like and you would walk in the game the movement was like hey you being like a 500 pounder just walking around uh, and the audio was like hey friendly you be alive and in the air uh, and yeah one of my homeboy also al almost went real story based on a true story by the way hand on top of this bottle of water my guy, uh, he would lower down the volume in his headset because he uh, all, he felt like that he went deaf Bruh. because of uh, he w once upon a time he called uh, a kill streak attack chopper in Modern Warfare 2019 and the volume was so loud like <laughs> it was so loud that he almost went deaf. Can you can you believe it? Bruh. He almost went deaf. He almost went deaf. Not right. If I sit here and just accept this, it's simply not right. Uh, my channel caught back on and we're still doing this now, but like okay. for the past five years, guys, I, I swear to you, I, I understand that sometimes I could be mean. I understand that sometimes I can be over the top. I, I understand that I can get lost in the sauce a lot, but the main intent of my channel he thinks he can be mean. Channel is for the greater good of gamers everywhere. Straight up. I am not that different to you. I, I don't work with Activision. They've never paid me a cent. They've never contacted me. I don't want to work with them after the scummy things they've done over the years. Just based on sheer principle. I don't even want to take like a bribe from them. You know, like a monetary bribe. I just don't want anything to do with them. I don't respect them. I don't think they are good for the gaming industry in the slightest. And I'm going to continue calling it out. That makes me the bad guy. I will be the bad guy. Totally fine, man. Boo me. You can boo me. But you know, deep down, I'm right. Now, I want to cover this on the other side of the spectrum here for Call of Duty. Okay. Because, uh, I mean, if you saw Twitter, I mean, these people on Twitter, these people on Twitter sound like me. These are people on Twitter talking about Helldivers 2 and the controversy, and they, they legit sound... Holy shies, we want. I want every Sony sim to choke on their shizy. Okay, I cannot say these words. Whoa! Uh, F in behavior now. Every person who jumped to defend and act so indefensible <laughs> that even Sony has walked it back. F anti-consumer bull squash and big ups to everyone who reviewed it, uh, reviewed and refund to force this. Yeah, absolutely. I think it, this just got so out of hands. I've never, genuinely, I've never seen anything like this ever at all. The reviews turned 260 plus, uh, the 60K, what? And on top, we were hearing Steam refund as well, and people were asking for refund a lot. And you guys gotta understand that this is this game is considered to be a masterpiece. Like, listen, I don't have it, but like, uh, not my opinion on top. This is what I have been hearing from people that are playing the game. Like, literally everybody say nothing but good things about Helldivers. So to see this is just uh, just truly wild because 
genuinely, I'm sorry, you guys, but you know it's the truth, right? I'm sorry to say this, but genu generally speaking, most gamers are simps, okay? Generally, yeah, I, I know, whoa. Whoa, what, what I mean by this, you not, uh, what I mean by this is that not literally, like, simp, where you are, like, behind, like, a chick, uh, like, an e-girl, right? Not, not, not saying that. What I mean by this is that if you find a good game, you're gonna praise it, and if somebody just says one bad thing about it, you're gonna crucify the guy or that girl, right? Like, you're, you're just, you cannot hear anything negative from somebody else when you like a game, right? So, gen generally speaking, most gamers are like that. Not like the old the older dudes not talking about the older dudes but the younger folks are like that i i, I understand i get it though even I, I feel like that i was also like that when i was 12 years old uh, everybody goes through that phase and then it's fine we then understand that hey if you like it you like it if you don't like it you don't like it simple as that right but to see people respond this way truly i feel like that we're, we're definitely growing as a as a as a community right now that yeah people first of all love this game but P uh, people did not shy away from dropping negative reviews, right? Because they saw the principle was really, really bad. A and then Steam also came in clutch and they started like refund it. Now we need this situation on Stellar Blade. Do not censor Stellar Blade. And right now, Sega's are also asking GTA 6 to be censored as well. It doesn't stop. I had a video uh, that I made earlier on that. I'll link you in a bit, okay? Sound like me making my videos here. Do they not? This is the type of energy I want to see from most people. You know, like uh, console fanboys uh, like to take shies uh, lying down, and you can tell they don't have a backbone. Looks like we want, but uh, yeah, but but some gamers also like to gaslight. It's it's the same thing, right? PC PC gamers gaslight Sony ponies, uh, Xbox Andes, <laughs> and Sony ponies gaslight Xbox Andes, Bruh. Xbox Andes gaslight uh, Sony ponies. Generally speaking, like it's Sony ponies and the Xbox Andes that would like gaslight each other, and it's hilarious at times. But right now we're seeing PC master is gas. Like gaslighting the the, 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 the the Sony ponies of the Xbox and he's what this was not on my bingo card bro say psych right now say psych I want to hear you say psych right now bro this is what I want to see from most people in the gaming sphere I guess we'll say yeah, but yeah. my particular community I, I've seen the call of duty community from 2007 to now turn into just a complete joke uh th they'll never call out anything shady they are content just to deal with the worst yeah. treatment of uh, th this is a reward guys remember this is what one call of duty i know uh, not even one i've seen like whoa i've seen multiple people say that this is just a reward bro like the c activation is so nice they're giving you a reward for being dumb bro like Imaginable. crazy there are people that will just lay on their backs and just take it you could probably kick them in the nuts like 10 times and then once their voice uh, gets its base back <laughs> they'll say please sir may i have another i don't know if it's masochism I i'm not a masochist I, I don't know how that stuff works you know i i don't i don't know Maybe it's that, but this is what Call of Duty is going through right now. Just as a comparison, okay? This happened, and I have not really heard much criticism at all, except from the people that are pretty much always critical. Okay. Right now, Call of Duty is in such a bad state, I, I would seriously argue oh, we are in pre-alpha. Look at this from Charlie Intel. The most recent update completely broke the game. From Warzone to, like, <laughs> Zombies to Multiplayer, everything is just messed up right now. They added Fog back as well, which I don't think anyone wanted. Dumb gameplay design decisions, you know, you know, uh, just horrendous servers. The servers are so bad. And then this, the reload bug is just, it, it's, I mean, you cannot reload properly in a first person shooter. What does that say about your first person shooter? I, I mean, listen, that's, that's not even that bad when you, uh, uh, you remember, I'm not sure if you guys remember this or not, but back in Call of Duty Vanguard, and I believe even in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, yeah, okay, not sure about Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, but Vanguard, I remember it, you couldn't even pause the game in Zombies. While all the way back in 2008, 2008, 2010s, you could always pause a game in zombies till you forgot to pay your electricity bill or till your console died on the spot, dog. Bruh. Right? And, and they, the devs came out, they were like, oh, bro, uh, uh, it's not as easy to put like a pausing button. We, we forgot, we forgot how to add a pausing button. You cannot even make this up, bro. You cannot even make this up. And later on, they added a two hours pausing button. So, of course, Warzone reload bug. Right now, like, they cannot even, like, you know, like, you're holding a weapon. You cannot even do this. Like, you cannot. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're having issues with that. Okay. Yeah. Mechanics yeah. like that are broken. Charlie Intel says Warzone reload bug will be fixed next week. 
Next he said this huh? three days ago. As of me <laughs> making this video, I, I don't think it's fixed. You know, I just don't think it's fixed still. Um, yeah, Sledgehammer and the team and the Call of Duty team said yeah. it'll be fixed next week. We had to literally wait a week after this big content drop because they fired all Can't their QA reload, testers, guys. guys. Yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, we fired QA testers. Uh, you know, you, you know what? Why right now you cannot reload? Why not go ahead and buy this eighty dollars? It's you know what? Forget about it, right? This punch is a reward, guys. Bruh. It's not. You just have to spend eighty dollars and you will get this for free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, go for it. They just we're the QA testers. The Call of Duty community is paying seventy dollars now. Ten more dollars. Ten more dollars than they were paying a few years ago. They're paying that to test the game for the devs because the QA testers are done. I'm not- I can go to China right now and I can get the entire Call of Duty for two pennies, bruh. I'm even gonna blame the devs this year. I think, I truly think, and stamp this please, for anyone that says I'm just rage baiting or negative, stamp this fucking part of the video, clip it, whatever you want to do. Because I mean this, I think Sledgehammer are doing a great job this year. I truly do. I think they are trying. It's everything what? else under the hood that is god awful with Call of Duty. It's Activision Blizzard. And it's not going to get better. Next Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty, we'll go for Black Ops 6, whatever it's called. It's also going to be bad. It's going to suffer from the same core problems on Activision Blizzard's end. It does not matter what Treyarch does. I hate to break it to you guys. You might get some good zombies content. That's what I'm looking forward to. But the multiplayer, no, it's going to be the same garbage. Warzone, the same garbage. You guys have to just open your eyes and look, it's not gonna change. Like all this stuff, Microsoft buying them, I kinda had hope that stuff would change. Nothing's yeah. changed. If anything, it got worse because they laid off QA testers mostly, <laughs> it would appear. Your I uncle Phil fired everybody. <laughs> He's like, yeah, he went in no Russian, uh, you know that no Russian mission in the original Modern Warfare 2? He went no Russian style and he's like, everybody, y'all getting fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. He fired almost like 1900 devs. Not all of them f were from Call of Duty, but majority were from Call of Duty. It just, um, he I fired don't know. everybody, bro. Like, and if I can go back to the people being critical, and if I could go back to people being critical, we got these uh -huh. changes from Sledgehammer Games this year. We got Modern Warfare 3 changes because me and many others spoke out against the bullshit that Modern Warfare 2 gave us. Uh -huh. Is that a lie? Can someone uh -huh. please tell me if that's a lie? I would love to hear your counter argument. People think that a lot of the time I'm just being mean, I'm rage baiting, I'm just being loud. And to an extent, yes, I'm doing a lot of this stuff just to entertain you guys. I hope it is entertaining. But this is how I really feel about the uh -huh. gaming industry. And uh -huh. I'm sorry to say, but you're not going to get anywhere if you be nice to these people who aim to take advantage of you. You are nothing more than a statistic, a number to them, a dollar sign to them. If you true, don't true, take true. away your dollars, if you don't post negative reviews about Helldivers 2, for example, which a lot of them have been reverted on Steam now. Who'd have thunk it, right? If you don't speak up, speak out, and call this stuff out from these these suits, these rich corporations and stuff, they are going to walk all over you, just like Activision facts, Blizzard facts. has for the past five years. Facts, facts, they facts. are still releasing updates that put the game in a- For Call of Duty to be changed, uh, like no skill based matchmaking and less of this microtransactions trash. Now listen, they can have microtransactions. Like I'm not saying that don't have it at all. What I'm trying to say and what generally, what people generally want is that, hey, when you're dropping a game for $70, Please ha make it good and come on doc. Can we get a pausing button and now we're figuring out that uh, these suckers couldn't even uh, They're having trouble having a reload button in game Can, can you guys uh, release a game that is full uh, and can we get some content when uh, the problem is not the microtransaction The problem is the price of the microtransactions and also them prioritizing this over actual content for everybody this has overtaken and it's like if you buy this game you and you want to play you want to play the game you want new content well too bad the new content all the new content it feels that way i know it's not we still get like some uh you know one map here after a month one new map one free map after a month right we would get that it's not just that but but still it feels like that every other week or multiple times a week you get twenty dollars thirty dollars microtransactions and if you really wanna you really want new content even if you pay even after you paid seventy dollars for the full game you gotta dive into the store you gotta open your butt cheeks and just take it in just take it in Bruh. absolutely wild so till people complain about till because right now everybody's like hey it's a reward it, it's it's a reward bro so once everybody's on the same page only then a real change can come and now they're asking for gtsx to be censored as well check out this video on the screen
yeah catch up on this uh doozy that's happening uh check this video out on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right